In this video, I'm going to cover the topic of the ICT bearish order block. <clears throat> Before we get into it, guys, an order block is only an order block if you have the narrative in place, meaning that you have a higher time frame draw on liquidity correct. Okay? It's not going to work. Not every green candle. There's a big misconception out there. It's not necessarily the last green candle in a move down. It's, it's not necessarily every green candle. That's not what it is. A, a bearish order block is an algorithmic signature for price when you have the draw on liquidity correct, meaning when you have the narrative correct. And they're easier to spot in hindsight, obviously, than they are uh, in, in live price action because you can see, oh, the market was drawing lower at that time. So let me see if I can find us some examples of a bearish order block. This green candle here is an ICT bearish order block not because it's a green candle but because the market was drawing lower so the ICT bearish order block what you want to do with it the ICT bearish order block is when you have a green candle in a down move take the candle itself or just the candle body you can use just the candle body and then take 50% uh, of that and I use a drawing uh, Michael uses the same one it's just negative OB or minus OB now, how you identify a proper order block is that if the market is drawing lower and you have a strong idea like the market should be drawing to sell side liquidity or it's drawing to an inefficiency that is lower, if price comes back up into a green candle that ideally the market displaced away from creating a fair value gap away from, that's a high probability bearish order block, then you just take the midway point of that and there you have your bearish order block. It could also stop at the 25% or go up further and dig into kind of like the 75%. Let me give you some more examples. Here we're on the 10 minute chart. So here, notice that the narrative was that the market was drawing down to this sell side liquidity. So what you want to do is you want to first have a narrative. Okay, the narrative is the higher time frame drawn liquidity. It's, it's where you think that price's uh, next objective is. So for example, we had sell side liquidity at 4409 spot 50, 4409 halves. And you could see that the market was drawing lower. So when the market came back up in this retracement, it should react off of the green candles, making the mortar blocks. So we take the body of this candle, halfway point, just draw that out like this, minus OB, okay? There you go, and you can see that the market came up uh, reacted one time off of the order block and then came up and reacted a second time. That's called a reclaimed order block. But I'm actually going to do a separate video on the reclaimed order block. So rather than uh, draw out every bearish order block from this point, I'm just going to highlight my cursor over it. Okay, here's a bearish order block right there. There was a bearish order block right there. Bearish order block right there. Bear sorter block right there, bear sorter block right there. They're very common. And bear sorter block right there. Again, you have to have the narrative. So, like for example, you're sitting up here, right? And you have these lows, relative equal lows, a lot of sell side liquidity down at 44.17, and you're sitting up at 45.13. You have to first bear in mind all right, the market's probably going to draw down and take out that sell side liquidity. That's probably price's next objective, and that's the narrative. And you need the narrative in order to have an order block. Not every green candle is a bearish order block. It's not. It, you must have the narrative or the draw on liquidity first. So the market, when it made a market structure shift and it looked like the market was probably going to come back down, kind of a market maker sell model here, when the market drew back up into this green candle and reacted off of that, that's a bearish order block. So guys, an order block is not necessarily just the last up close candle in a down move, and it's not necessarily just every green candle. It's an opposite colored candle. The bearish order block is a green candle in a down move because you have the narrative, you have the higher time frame draw liquidity correct. So in order for a candle to be an order block, you must ascertain, you must understand what the next draw liquidity is, or in other words, what the narrative is. So, okay, guys, in this ICT Basics video, we covered the ICT bearish order block. I talked to you first about how you must have the narrative before you have an order block. I talked to you about how an order block is not necessarily 
every green candle, and an order, a bear sorter block is not just every uh, the last up close candle in a down move. It's not necessarily that either. It's it's a green candle when the market is drawing lower, when the market, when the overall narrative or the draw on liquidity, the higher time frame draw on liquidity is sell side. Okay, guys, in this video, we covered the ICT bear sorter block. Uh, shortly, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on the ICT bullish sorter block. Bye-bye.